a lot of cheese and me with no pizza. You have pizza. Oh, yeah, we do have pizza. Oh, yeah. My favorite. Anyways. <laughs> not my favorite. What's your favorite? Liver. And I'm not joking. I can eat it every day. You know who else likes liver? Who? Boss Hog. Yeah, he is raw. He eats raw liver for breakfast every I morning. I fry it's in, mine. It's in, uh, it's in Dukes of Hazard Cannon. <laughs> he does. <laughs> and he married Roscoe's fat sister. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. David Eon and the lovely Miss Lady Pop Hunter, even if she does eat liver. L liver. Fonzie can't even say it. Fonzie was afraid of liver. I don't know why. That's, I happy, like that that's happy Days canon. Anyways, <laughs> taking a look at some of the stuff that is coming up here shortly in the adult collector's market. If it's not already available for pre-order somewhere, then it probably is. Because mm -hmm. it happens that quickly now. It does. At least pre-order. You may still wait a year. Yeah. But you can get your pre-order in. <laughs> and maybe they won't cancel it on you either. Mm -hmm. But we'll go ahead and get started. And we'll start off with Beast Kingdom. Beast Kingdom has another egg attack action figure. And this is the 105 Iron Man. Iron Man! Egg attack. Hmm. So, big head. Interchangeable eyes, it says. Interchangeable there's a face plate. eyes. Yeah, and there's a face plate down there to give you more of a 70s look. Mm -hmm. With those two little points on the top. Ninety dollars. Mm -hmm. Ninety dollars for those of you who are into the egg attack figures. <laughs> Diamond. Cobra Kai. Diamond Select. And I don't show Diamond too often, but they get a lot of interesting SDCC stuff coming up here. And this is a three-pack Cobra oh. Kai based on the new show, which we haven't seen, but I've heard it's pretty good actually. Picks up kind of where they left off mm -hmm. from the original series in a manner of speaking. To the best of my understanding. Well, that doesn't really look like Ralph Macchio, I don't think. But yeah, that's the best they could do. I suppose. Anyway, it's a three-pack. That's You can tell that that's a uh, prototype anyway, because look at the way that the elbow joints are painted yeah. on that one character. 75 bucks for the three-pack. Oh, okay. Is it like a 12 scale? Yes. Oh. Eric Draven, who is Brandon Lee, or was Brandon Lee, his best film, and unfortunately the film that he died in. Mm, the Crow. And the Crow, yeah. And this is another SDCC Diamond Select. $40. It comes with the chair. Oh. <laughs> it comes with the chair. Everybody's doing that one right now because uh, 112, uh, who is it, Mezco, is mm -hmm. supposed to be doing a Crow also. Oh, okay. Yeah. Diamond Select, Lord of the Rings, Frodo and Gollum. For 50 bucks, two pack, and Frodo is invisible. That's mm. why he looks like you put on the ring and he becomes invisible. Mm. For those of you who never saw the film. Mm -hmm. And of course, the Muppets, because Diamond Select has done Muppets before, and I don't have any, but I, I dig it. I'm a, I'm a fan of the Muppets, grew up watching the show. Bunsen and Beaker, $30 for the two pack. And another one for you Nightmare Before Christmas. And this is like, I don't know, Nightmare Before Christmas party pack. You got the jack there, you got the tree with the skeletons hanging from it, and the workbenches with the little uh, creepy toys. They do a lot of, of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, they do. 120 for this oh. set, though. Mm -hmm. And Tron. A Tron three pack. All three figures are going to be transparent. And that's eighty dollars. Does the, it glow in the, the dark pattern. or light up or something? No, they're just uh, translucent. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see through them. Mm -hmm. Which you know, it's one way to try to do the effect from uh, from the movie. And I wonder how they would look under a black light. Actually, these figures. Mm -hmm. And that'll do it for Diamond Select. And we'll take a look at something from Eagle Moss because I've shown Eagle Moss before. They've done a lot of Daleks. Now they have Davros. Davros, which is an 8-inch tall figure. This is not jointed. It's like a little vinyl statue. 8-inch Davros. It looks like the fourth Doctor version Davros, or Tom Baker version, if you will. 
a hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Executive Replicas doing another 12th scale figure and this one is Lady Death. Lady Death 1 12th scale and she is going to be 75. 75 for this figure. And okay. she, she can get the sword or the sickle. The little flame effects. Mm -hmm. Knees look kind of knobby. This is, you know, I'm just <laughs> what saying. What does that mean? It, it, you see how the, the knee joints are like... Uh, popping out there. I almost wish they could have done her more mixed media mm -hmm. so that you could cover up some of the joint thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just just my opinion. Maybe that's because it's the prototype and it'll be a little better once you get it in hand. Yeah, let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> I like the box though. Mm -hmm. I do like what they did with the box and they got some artwork going around it and showing some of the other figures there. It says Legacy Series coming soon. From F Flix Toys. Flix Toys, which means this is unauthorized. I think Felix, because it's F I L. It could be, yeah, F I L A. Yeah, you're probably yeah, right. Felix, Flix is Felix F -L. Toys. Yeah, you're right. I'm reading it wrong. Mm -hmm. Felix Toys, the ink blot. Because, from a movie? yes, that is Rorsatch from The Watchmen, which means this is probably unauthorized. Why you say that? Because otherwise it would say The Watchmen, and it would oh. be trademarked. And oh. it would tell you this was Rorsatch, but it doesn't say that. It says the ink blot. Oh. Kind of like when Bullethead did V, and they called it V-Mask. <laughs> oh. But that's a pretty decent looking figure and that's why I'm showing it I don't know what the price is but usually these types are cheaper than your average 12 scale so I wouldn't expect this to be much but that's a pretty good likeness of the actor from the film version of the Watchmen Funko <laughs> anybody interested in Funko? there's plenty of people interested in Funko yeah. Funko Everett Aqua Sox limited edition Another Funko Field mascot. They did that pop. last year. I yeah, think. they did. Well, not last year because it was before. 2020. The year yeah. before. Yeah. 20 last year don't count. It's 2019. So they get they getting back to this. Yeah. Bakugan. Don't ask me who they are. I don't know anything about Bakugan. Mm -hmm. Just so Bakugan, some Bakugan characters. More. Um, Bakugan at Target. Is that a two-pack? It doesn't specify that it is, so mm -hmm. I'm going to say no. I want to say no. Right. You'll probably find it. I mean, most of the exclusives are getting a little better to find at Target. Well, it depends on what it is. Yeah. Like, um, you'll see some for anime or, like, various TV shows and, you know, like yeah. The Office and... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Stranger Things, stuff like that. but Other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, Deadpool, EB exclusive. That's EB in EB Canada. Games. EB Games GameStop. is Canada. GameStop is the United States. But another Funko Deadpool there. You could swap his head with Bob Ross. <laughs> and I'm showing the princesses again because they're expanding on it. Okay. So these I showed a couple of weeks back. Mm -hmm. They're ultimate princesses. Ultimate princesses. Yeah, because they come with that little stain. You heard that they're trying to ban um, Snow White? No, why? Because her name's Snow White? No, because oh. at the end, the prince kisses her without her permission. Yeah, I'm yeah, serious. I read that. That's, I read yeah, that. Mm -hmm. come on, guys. It was written in the 30s. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exclusives, Diamond, Hot Topic, um, Pop and Pin, Metallic, Funko Shop, Box Lunch, and another Funko Shop exclusive there. Mm -hmm. And oh, plushies. plushies. Ooh, goodness. I'm sorry. I so just, the large eyes. Look at their feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like they have fat legs. Yeah. I, I, I can't get into their plushies. T-shirts. Yay! Yeah. I guess one is uh, where... Um, the name is like on it. No, no. I'm looking at the locations. I guess oh. you can get it at their stores or on, on their shop online. Mm-hmm. Tangled. Pens. 
Anybody need a pen? You always need a pen. I guess so. Pop sodas? I saw somebody displaying those. Because yeah, I always said, I wonder how you how people just display it. Uh huh. And I saw a guy. I saw a YouTube video. Yeah. Mm hmm A Pan Am stewardess. Oh, you can get her in red hair. Yeah, that's the chase. Energizer Bunny. <laughs> it looks like the Energizer Bunny. I body. like the gray one. Oh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Batmite. I remember Batmite. Oh. <laughs> it's a 70s cartoon thing. Mm-hmm. And Klondike Cat and Savoir Faire. Because you know Savoir Faire is everywhere. I guess. Yeah. You, you have to watch the show. Yeah, I never... I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember it. <laughs> and Sloth. Mm. With and without Pirate Hat. <laughs> yeah, Neo. Nero. I mean, ne Neo. Nero. Neo. Neo. I don't know where I get Nero from. Yeah, Neo. <laughs> With a phone. With a phone. <laughs> well, at least that's different. He doesn't have on the glasses, and he has a phone. Yeah, they, so that's they totally changed his different. arm, and they took the glasses off. Yeah, so. And Venom and Carnage. From Venom, let there be Carnage, because they're making a part two. Or they made a part two. It's coming. Mm -hmm. And a jumbo-sized for Walmart. I heard Woody Harrelson is playing Carnage. I don't know. And Young Blood. Is that Young an anime? Blood. I think this is from some band or another, and mm -hmm. this is something out of one of their music videos. I could be wrong, but somebody can tell us. Mm. Uh, and that'll do it for Funko. Oh, good. They had enough. Great Twins. Great Twins doing Terminator 2, Judgment Day, mm -hmm. Super Deluxe set. You get both 12th scale figures. Heavy weathering is damaged and heavy weathering. Yeah, his clothes are all torn up, <clears throat> basically is what that means. Comes That's with, nice. Yeah, it comes with all the guns, comes mm -hmm. with the base, with the skulls and, and stuff. Yep. Yeah. And there's a better look at them. They do light up. And the set is 230 Oh, that's not a bad the, price. For the, for the pair. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, from Great Twins. I think it's interesting the, what they went for with the jacket. Because it doesn't look like your typical pleather. Mm -hmm. And they might have done that so that it won't shred. Because yeah. a lot of that shreds. Mm. He's wearing his uh, bandolier upside down. Maybe you can adjust that when you get it. Well, I'm sure you can put it on. I'm just saying, whoever put this together, they put the bandolier on upside down. You don't put them with the shells facing up. You're like the only person on earth that noticed that. Uh, <laughs> Hasbro. Hasbro Legends Infinity Saga 2-Pack with Thanos and Iron Man. The I Am Iron Man Final Snap Edition, I guess. Oh, no, that's not right. No? No. Is it Endgame? I don't know. I don't see a gauntlet. Oh, you don't? Well, it's on... Because I thought... Oh, no, I'm, I'm getting them mixed up. This probably is from the final film. But it says Endgame. Yeah, I think it? it is from the final film, and that's why Thanos' head looks like that, because the one head is supposed to look like the dust is coming off him. Um. 64. Infinity Saga Iron Man Mark III. For twenty-seven. Hmm. Twenty-seven dollars. Odin. Another twenty-seven dollars. Hmm. Anthony Hopkins Odin. Mm -hmm. Power Rangers. And this is Power Rangers in Space Lightning Collection. Blue versus the Silver Psycho. I wasn't watching Power Rangers. And I only ever watched like the first season with my kid. Like... A million years ago. I've seen like one episode here and there. And I didn't find it all that Didn't appeal. Mm -mm. This is 43. 
And then you have uh, SPD Lightning Yellow for 25. SPD Red Ranger, 25. And this is the stuff you'll find at like Target and Walmart. Yeah. GameStop. Mm, five below. Five below. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you wish. And the Yellow versus Scorpina Lightning Collection. Scorpina. 43. And more from Hasbro, the retro collection, another wave of retro figures. We seen that in Walmart yesterday, didn't well, we? Yeah, we saw some figures from this series mm -hmm. in the Walmart. And I'll give them credit, you know, the figures, they don't look that bad because usually, like, th to me this this um, looks a lot like Super 7 Five Points and they've got great card art. a reaction figure. Reaction Super figures, reaction yeah. Figures. Oh, yeah. Mezco is five yeah, points. Yes. I got it mixed up. Mm -hmm. But Super Seven reaction figures, great card art, mm -hmm. and the figures look terrible. These, if I was a kid, look like figures I would want to. I would want to play with. Mm -hmm. you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it makes more sense to me. Plus, the card art is decent. See the Hulk there. From the new retro wave coming up. Carol Danvers. Hey, it boots that high, and then we're a leotard top. <laughs> Captain America. And it's like traditional comic book looking art, too. That looks like the one that's on that giant card. Yeah. Like the one you have on the big card. Yeah, because it's sort of a nod to Secret Wars, mm -hmm. the way that it's done. Mm -hmm. Human Torch. <laughs> Kind of look like Ghost Rider a little bit outside of the package. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if Ghost Rider was naked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Spider Man. Mm. With his like web slinging hands. Five points of articulation, of course. Hot Toys has. Another Tony Stark. Mm -hmm. Tony Stark Mark V suit up version. So you see how he looks on the left. Yeah. All the armor, you put it on yourself. Oh, I was going to ask if you got two figures. No, you got one figure, but you can put all the armor on. Because remember in the second movie, he's got it in a suitcase. Mm -hmm. And he stands on it, and the armor like climbs up him. Mm -hmm. That's what this is representing from the, ra from the, the racetrack. Oh, okay. This is 350 350 for this version. Mm. And they have a deluxe version. Mm. For four, and you know, just give you another uh, look at this, how that looks when he's all put together. Mm -hmm. The deluxe version comes with the briefcase. Oh, okay. That he opened up and stood on in the film. And this is 405. It would be cool if that came in a briefcase. I do not know that this is die-cast. Die I don't think it is. It didn't say anything indicating it was die-cast. It doesn't say it down there at the bottom? No, I don't see it. Do you mm. see a die-cast on here? No. See, I didn't see anything in the description about die-cast, so I uh -huh. think it's probably just plastic. Mm. But, you know, like double, that hard plastic. double check. Yeah. Double check. It'd be nice if it was. Mm -hmm. Be heavy. Yeah. Mattel. Mattel. PowerCon. PowerCon's coming. PowerCon's coming. And this is the Hordak 4 pack. Hordak 4 pack. With Grizzlore and two Horde Troopers. This is 150 bucks for hmm. the four of them. I don't know what the packaging is supposed to look like. And then Faker <laughs> with uh, Faker Cat. I mean, what do you call this? Faker Battle Cat. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know who that Battle Cat is, but it's a two-pack, $60 for the two-pack. I wonder why they gave him a Havoc Staff instead of a sword. Uh, mm. I don't know. And the Secret of Grey Skull set. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that character is. He doesn't look familiar. No. But this is the Secret of Grayskull little set. And this is 
thirty bucks. I think you can only get it from PowerCon unless you pre-order through somebody. Mm -hmm. And while we're on Mattel, more Revelations figure. This is Skella God. Skella God. So that's going to be a, a character in the show. I think it's Skeletor after something happens to him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's, they're going to put gonna that be in from the, the show. It's going to be from the show coming mm -hmm. up here. A lot of people are looking forward to that show. I hope uh, I hope Kevin Smith pulls it off. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it'll, the writing will be good. Mm -hmm. And there's another look at the Battle Cat. It looks different from the first rendition. They might have changed yeah, something. Yeah, they probably, you know, they probably just showed you something. Just to yeah. put something out there for the people to Maybe. see. And now they done worked it up and cleaned it up a bit. It's more a lime green color, though. Uh, you know. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Still in production. The figures look okay. They And I think somebody had said that they look kind of like the 2000X. I agree. They kind of do look 2000X-ish, which is fine. Yeah. But, um, it's the packaging that I'm disappointed with. The pack, you know, it, the, the, it, you, you had pointed out last time, it looks like uh, McFarlane DC-verse DC yeah. uh, multiverse packaging. It really does. I saw the drawing on it. And the drawings look like 200x. Oh, from the uh, from the, the upcoming Revolution. show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the anime-ish kind of style. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, the He-Man looks a little bigger, um, but the style of the drawing, even the the kind of the, the look of the characters, look like the 200x characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that part doesn't matter as long as they got a good storyline. Yeah, that's line. What, what, what I'm hoping for um, is the storyline. You know, and the dialogue isn't stupid mm -hmm. and the storyline is good. Um, I wonder I how the kitty version is going to be because you know there's two shows coming. Well, nobody cares about that because you ain't going to try and watch it. Might it might be good. It might be. You know what's surprisingly good? What? Is the, uh, and that's something you brought up, the newspaper strips. The newspaper script. Um, the periodicals. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm actually reading that right now, mm -hmm. and it's a it's a far cry away from um, all of the canon. Yeah, yeah. The, the cartoon, the mini comics, everything. I like that it's one continuous story, mm -hmm. and they're bringing in all of the characters like right up front. You got um, Scareglow, Hordak, King Hiss. Everybody's in there. Yeah. Um, you know, so I'm really, I'm really liking the comic script, and I kind of hope they they tell those stories because those stories are actually pretty good. Yeah, this is a yeah. missed opportunity there, maybe. Yeah, it'd be cool if somebody did uh, a car, <clears throat> excuse me, a cartoon version of the the newspaper scripts. Sure. You know, gussy them up a little bit. And anyway, mm -hmm. McFarlane, like he was talking about. Speaking of McFarlane. Mm -hmm. Multiverse Doctor Fate, and these would be in the twenty dollars range. You, know, yeah, you can find at these at Walmart and whatever. Mm -hmm. And Hot Pursuit Flash, Hot Pursuit. He in white. Yeah, he's in a white suit. Hot Pursuit, mm -hmm. white hot, because he runs very fast. I guess. I guess so. Mezco has another announcement. Mezco's got some pretty decent looking stuff this uh, this year so far, and this is. Batman Gotham by Gaslight edition, which is based on a comic book. Comes with everything you see here, plus more, because it also has, like, his flying apparatus. Includes one twelfth glider with hinged wings, so you can put him in a flying pose or gliding pose. Is that the um, bonus pack? Deluxe pack? No, this is the standard. Oh. And it's 115. Oh, that's not bad. For for the whole thing, actually, it's not considering one fifth scale. Mm -hmm. I mean, one one fifth, one twelfth <laughs> scale. That's big <laughs> for one fifth. Yeah, one twelfth scale. And they also have this. It's called the Victorian Vigilante Accessory Pack, that's which separate? is sold separately. It's got the the pistol, the lantern, uh, handcuffs, grenades, all that little bits there. It says. Um, a shotgun. Is that a shot? Oh, yeah, a shotgun. This is $20. Oh, that's not a bad price. For the accessory kit. And, of course, since it's 112th, you could probably use it with any 112th mm -hmm. figure, Mezco or not. Uh, they, you know, I think that's a, an interesting little 
edition. Mm -hmm. Mecca, Mondo Gecko and Kerma. Mondo Gecko and Kerma. Not Kermit the frog, Kerma the turtle, mm -hmm. apparently. And that is made to look animated naturally. And yes, it is a Target exclusive. Uh, hopefully, you know, they'll keep putting the Target exclusives up on their shop so people can find them because you, you already know the story, folks. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Turtles, Super 7 is re-releasing their first couple of waves four. of... First four. Yeah, first two waves, right? Four, first four. Aren't there four in a wave? They're re-releasing waves one, wave two, wave three, and wave four. Oh, I only saw images for two waves. Yeah, well, well the wave, email said... Here's wave one. First four waves. Maybe the other two aren't available yet. Maybe. But anyways, they're re-releasing them mm -hmm. to give people another shot at it because they've been getting a lot of requests. Yeah, and they're at Big Bad Toy Store, so you can always That's get right. them there. That's right. So if you missed them the first time around, they're giving you another shot at it. Yeah. That's how you do it, guys. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. Make sure everybody can that wants it can get it without getting gouged. Yeah. And from TB League... Anubis. Anubis. Guardian of the Underworld. Look at the stand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's got the rocks he can stand on. One sixth scale figure, and this is $180 from TB League. And from 3 0, the Demigorgon from Stranger Things. One sixth scale figure. Uh, is that still on? I know they had stopped production. I think production they were doing because... another season. Aren't they on a season five or something? We never watched it. I don't it. know. But we I never mean, watched I it. know it stopped because of the COVID. Uh -huh. But I don't know if it ever got going again. Me either. Mm. <laughs> well, they got figures for it. Yeah, they got this. It's a six scale Demi Gorgon. It only has um, an extra head, an extra head change out, and extra hand change outs. This is 16 inches tall. Oh. 16 inches tall. Mm -hmm. $250. Mm. $250. And then from X Plus, still making more Ray Harryhausen stuff. X Plus has the Kali from the Seventh Voyage of Sinbad film. Soft vinyl figure. This is 235. And it says 30 centimeters tall. Um, inches, guys. We're in the uh, we're in North America. I, I, that's about twelve inches or so. There's a deluxe version. Seventh Voyage of Sinbad. Is that the one with? Uh, uh, no, Golden Golden Voyage of Sinbad. The one before this one had Tom Baker in it as the villain, the fourth Doctor Who. I don't even know what you're talking about. He was a great villain in that film. Mm -hmm. Two ninety five for the deluxe version that comes with the little stand. Mm -hmm. And that'll do it. Oh, wow. That is all she wrote, <laughs> folks. So did you see anything you like? No. Really? Mm-hmm. Not even, uh, like, the PowerCon figures? No. Oh, wow, they never made Faker ca Kitty Cat. Mm-mm. <laughs> no, they never did, and I don't want it now. Aw. Okay. Um, gee, did I see anything that I want? Where do you begin? Yeah, I try not to get carried away. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm probably not going to get it anyways. <laughs> but it's nice to look at it and say, like, for example, the uh, Mezco um, Gotham by Gaslight, mm -hmm. 112. I do like 112 scale figures. I got a bunch of them. I like the design on that one. Mm -hmm. So I do like that one. I like the Hot Toys uh, Mark V Iron Man. Not gonna, oh, yeah? Yeah, not going to mm. get it. I do like it. I do I like the uh, the Iron Man uh, figures, but, you oh, know, I only have, like, a handful of six-scale figures. I don't have mm -hmm. very much, and I, I don't need, like, 200 of them. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> there you go. Aside from that, I don't really see much else. 
that I would want to go running after. But that doesn't mean you don't see something that you like. What do you like? Tell us about it in the comment section down below. Let us know what caught your attention, what is going to hurt your wallet in the coming weeks. Uh, please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. We hope you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. All that good stuff. Check out some of our other videos. If you're new to the channel, we do a lot more than just a, a weekly roundup showcasing new things coming up. We do a lot of different nostalgia things here and a little something for everybody. You may find something you enjoy. So anything else? Mm -mm. No. All that being said. All that being said. Thanks for watching and we will see you again soon. Now I got to go find that pizza that you were talking about. <laughs>